we gotta just buy some dope beats, dude. Alright, man. Like they're a dollar. Yeah, they ain't that expensive. No, those YouTube beats are weak, dude. Remind me what financials I sent you. Um, I think it was a pro forma for a new um, off-market one. Are you guys buying local or are you guys just out of California? Um, we're out of, we're in California, San Diego. Okay. We're concentrating more in Albuquerque. Okay. Have you bought any other property here in Albuquerque yet? I bought the one and it was just uh, my own house. Okay. I lived there for, for two years and I lived there for two years and it was cheaper to buy. Albuquerque's rental market is really strong, so it is cheaper to buy a house than it is to rent for sure. Um, yes. Send Thank that you. letter of intent over and I will present it to the owner and we will go from there. Hope we'll, we can get it tied down. Yeah, hopefully. Thank All right. you. Have a good day. You too. Thanks, Julio. Bye. All right. Okay. Bye. Bye. Boom. It's getting property sold. Not even on the market yet. I've already got a buyer for it. That's called hustling. Oh, dear, that would not be good. Oh. What happened to your pants? Well, you know, Porsches, they don't really have very good cup holders. There's one cup holder. It's a one-man vehicle. One cup holder. All of the passenger cup holders, <laughs> they're crap. They're rickety. They're flimsy. I don't even know what they do. Look at that thing. What is that thing? We're right around the corner from a few different properties I wanted to show you. But the first one, the first thing I gotta show you here is that on this side of the street is this new development, it's Mirabello right here. This side of the street right here, these single wide mobile homes in this mobile home park. This is where my mom and I used to live when I was a kid. Just me and her back in the day. This mobile home park, it's pretty cool. Cruising through Mirabella right now, going past a property I flipped about three or four months ago. And they actually they actually did redid the stucco after we finished it. Take them to the pictures of it. This stucco though, this stucco, I did not do that. I have no idea why you would pick that color of stucco. I don't know why the HOA let them pick that color of stucco. Maybe they didn't. Maybe they, maybe they have a fine going right now for their stucco color picking. I've got a rental right here on the other side. I got two rentals right here on the other side. Right here, got one on Glacier Bay. I've had that one for a long time. One of my clients, good dude in the military. Uh, bought that years ago when he got uh, PCS to Kirtland Air Force Base and kept it as a rental and actually had reached out to me a couple months ago about buying another one here uh, we've been just just been trying to dial one in track it down for the for the, the right uh, numbers that he's looking for so uh, maybe we'll be able to find him another one soon this next part of the neighborhood that we're going to, this is the newest part. Um, this is on the South Wantabo Bridge. And this is a part of the city that not enough, I don't think not enough people know about this area. Um, it's there, it's just booming. They, they have developed this entire stretch and it's absolutely amazing. I mean, it, it's beautiful. And so, one of the reasons why I like this area so much is because I actually lived here. Uh, my wife and I bought one of the earliest part of the development's foreclosures. There was a property that was foreclosed and we, we actually, based on the pictures that we saw, 
wanted nothing to do with it, but we we liked the thought of living over here because it's a newer development, it's nicer homes, and but the pictures were awful. They were just, oh, they were terrible. And so we had been looking, we had been looking, and uh, we finally were like, let's just go take a look at this one. I think I, I think maybe we can figure it out. We we came and checked it out, and we were like, oh. It doesn't need near as much work as we thought, and the neighborhood's awesome, and it backs a ravine, and the ravine backs the the golf course community. Well, this is this is great, and so the story gets better and better as we go. We bought this house before we got married. We started all the rehab stuff and got it to where it was almost 100% ready to move into by the time we came back from our honeymoon. Of course, we didn't live together before we got married, so we had this thing ready to go, and as soon as we got back from our cruise, uh, we moved straight into the house, and of course, we, we were gone too, so we didn't really have the ability to furnish the house and get it all set up yet, but we had a couch, and that was enough for us. And so we slept on the couch for the first couple of weeks until we got all the beds set up and the things moved in and everything squared away. And from there, uh, we, f we spent some time doing some, some pretty cool um, renovations. Uh, we actually, because I have such a large assortment of clothes and shoes, we actually turned one of the bedrooms into a closet. We blew out the old closet, attached the old closet to the master bathroom, made the master bathroom bigger, and then we made a bedroom a closet. So a 12 by 12 bedroom ended up being this huge walk-in closet. We put racks in it, set it all up, and so we converted it from a four bedroom two bath to a three bedroom, two bath with the most massive closet you've ever seen. So, I've got a buyer who's in Tucson. Obviously, he can't be in two states at once. So, I'm walking around, checking this property out in advance, see if this is something that's gonna work for him. Let's go check it out. So right off the bat, I think this is gonna fit a lot of what Mike's looking for, which is why he sent it to me in the first place. Obviously, being a Southwest style home, this property captures sort of that styling. It's got these wood vigas, it's got a TNG on the ceiling, it's got this center fireplace, and it's got that look that Mike's after. So I think the kitchen again is gonna be a plus for Mike. Uh, it's been updated, it's got granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, um, the flooring is updated. And the cabinets look great. I think this is a win for sure. Can you see a switch out here? The downside to it being empty is that it's so echoey. I hope that that helps. I hope that that doesn't pick up so the, the five days that are laid out in the letter of intent are really just for us to get in to do the initial walkthrough and maybe take a handyman with us to get a, a better idea of how things look and and what cosmetically we would have to take care of just right off the bat that's 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 the the purpose of the walkthrough with a letter of intent 
if your goal is to take an underperforming asset, put some money into it, and to squeeze out everything you can out of it and maximize the investment, then you put 20 to 40 in it and you've got a, a, a much better performing asset than if you just put the minimum into it. So there's, there's two different options there. Ultimately, I think either way, there's, there's an asset that's, that's gonna perform decently, uh, especially with a low entry value. Are you going to have a ton of equity in it? Not really. Um, is it easy to get into? Absolutely. So that's where it's like, well, you know, the, the percentages are gonna be similar, uh, but you're talking about a $100,000 property as opposed to a 200 or a 250 or plus, right? So, you know, that's, you gotta start somewhere is kind of what I'm getting at. Uh, cool. Appreciate you. No problem. Thanks, Patrick. We'll talk to you later. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye. So that was Patrick, uh, an investor, a new investor, green investor that I've been working with, trying to help out, uh, just kind of understand the process of buying your first uh, multifamily rental. Do a Burr model, which is to buy it, rehab it, refinance it, and then rent it. Well, now that we wrap that up, I'm about to go meet my wife for a happy hour. here that means you can't come with me I'm out <laughs>